Princeton High School is apologizing tonight after its football team was forced to forfeit three wins because of using an ineligible player. Joining me now to break down the penalty and what's next for the team is Nine on Your Side's Mike Dyer. So, Mike, what do we know right now about this ineligible player and, and how did they discover this? Right now, uh, Princeton has to forfeit its three wins, uh, Craig, and uh, this student was a transfer in Sunday night, uh, the Princeton City School District was notified of a, po a potential eligibility issue regarding academics and uh, on Tuesday the uh, school district confirmed that uh, the transcript uh, did make this uh, student academically ineligible so obviously the, t the football team goes to 0-4. And, and the superintendent has actually released a statement now tied to this incident. Yeah, he has. Tom Burton, uh, the school superintendent, uh, released a statement on Tuesday, on Wednesday afternoon, excuse me, and saying, quote, the district has a procedure in place to check eligibility. However, in this one case, the process was not followed to completion. We have added additional steps and people to the process of checking eligibility to ensure this situation will never happen again. So, of course, a lot of teams out there, a lot of different communities want to know what happens now. Obviously, these three games taking, taken out of their their Overall Computer points, points. Yeah, yeah. How does it all settle in, when the dust settles? Well, right now, uh, the OHSA is going to recalculate the computer point standings. As everybody knows, the top eight teams in each region, there's four regions in, in each division around the state of Ohio, uh, mm -hmm. they make the postseason. So teams like uh, Lakota East, uh, who uh, lost to Princeton uh, on Friday night, they get bumped up. Moeller and Lebanon, those teams that were kind of behind Princeton in the computer point standings. So obviously Princeton goes to the back of the pack right now. They have a tall task in order to try to make the playoffs. All right. Well, Mike Dyer, thank you so much for joining us and breaking it down for us. If you'd like to read Mike's full article on the Princeton debacle, head on over to WCPO.com.